morning it is 6 a.m here in the beautiful lake district national park we are back for episode three of my wainwrights project today we are in a traditional race against the weather uh, the reason why i got up at five to leave my house was because although it looks clear right now about 8 a.m it is scheduled to absolutely bucket down with rain. Um, so that's reason number one. Reason number two is in the UK today, it is a bank holiday, which means more people have time off work than normal. Uh, so it's good to get out early, avoid those crowds. Today's goals are Bonscale Pike and Arthur's Pike. Hopefully the whole route should take a couple of hours we're on opposite side to Hallin Fell. If you still haven't seen uh, episode one, I'll link it somewhere on screen. Besides from that, let's get into it. So already I am excited for this walk. Only a couple hundred yards in and Look at that. Old water behind, that is only gonna open up more and be more spectacular as we get to the top of Bonscale Pike. Okay, so it's not an easy walk. I think uh, I took off a layer straight away. I've now just uh, put on my shell because just in the background there, over Hallin, Bedderfell, Steel Knots, you can see the clouds are coming in. I'm currently here on Swarfell, which actually isn't a Wainwright, but from the top of here, should be able to walk straight along to uh, Bonscale Pike and then following that Arthur's Pike. As I promised earlier, the higher up you go, the better the views are across Oldswater. Absolutely stunning. Nobody out here yet, still pretty early, but with the threat of rain pretty much on the horizon and those clouds uh, making me want to move a bit faster, it's time to stop faffing about with the drone head on up this path to Swarth Fell and hopefully I'll see you at the top of uh, Bonscale Pike. So that's number four, Bonscale Pike, 
first time up here for me, so it's been really nice. Uh, what you've got, beautiful views across Oldswater, all the way as far as Pooley Bridge, Hallin Fell, you can see the top of Bedderfell. To be honest, this walk along here and this area leads to uh, Loadpot Hill, Weather Hill, some other of the Wainwrights that I need to do. But the views in that direction aren't that special at the moment, so I'm not going to concentrate on them. I'm all about this over here, overlooking Oldswater. One other thing that I think is important to say and uh, is really nice to see, this is a bank holiday weekend in the UK, but uh, what we've got is all of the campsites between Pooley Bridge and Martindale are packed. Now, everyone around the world uh, has been on, you know, some sort of lockdown at some point this year. And it's just really nice to see people back here uh, getting outside and doing what they want to do. But if you are going to be here, please make sure you take whatever you bring with you. Leave no trace. Even on the trail this morning, I've seen bits of tissue, bits of rubbish lying about, and uh, that's obviously not cool. So with that being said, we are continuing along this path here all the way up to Arthur's Pike hopefully before the rain hopefully with the opportunity to sit outside looking down at Oldswater and get some breakfast so let's go it number five Wainwright out of 214 for me Arthur's Pike with absolutely stunning views over Oldswater uh, the early start needs to be rewarded with breakfast I'm up here solo uh, with the exception of a couple of uh, local sheep beautiful views over Oldswater towards Hallin Fell I'm gonna get some breakfast get the drone up and then uh, We'll finish it all off and I'll tell you a little bit more about Bonscale Pike and Arthur's Pike. District. Two more Wainwrights ticked off, Bonscale Pike and Arthur's Pike. Beautiful breakfast, beautiful views, not really much to complain about. If you stuck around to the end, just want to say thank you if you're enjoying the series. Make sure to like it, any questions or just to say hello, comment section, make sure to leave a message down there. And as always, subscribe. This is only uh, Wainwright 4 and 5 of a 214 Wainwright series. I'm really excited to get out and do all of these, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. All of these routes will also go on my website, so that's all of the uh, admin done for this video, I guess. But besides from that, if you're getting outside soon, leave no trace, get outside and enjoy yourself. See you next time.